stringing, thin strips of holly inlaid around the borders of your project are a pretty easy way to add a level of elegance to your woodworking. Pre-cut stringing is nearly impossible to find, so I'm going to show you how to make and use your own. It starts with a simple jig that sets the width of your stringing. It's just a piece of hardboard with a notch cut into one edge, the width that you want to cut your stringing. The holly is cut as a flitch, or a thin veneer, typically about 4 to 8 inches wide. Start by using a straight edge to cut the flitch in half, giving you two clean edges to work with. This edge slips under the lip of the jig, which guides your saw as you cut. A knife blade will tend to follow the grain of the wood, which will spoil your cut. A good quality veneer saw is the right tool to use. Let the teeth do the work, sawing quickly and gently all the way down the length of your jig, ensuring that the flitch doesn't move as you cut. It takes about 20 seconds to cut a 30 inch piece of stringing. Cutting the groove for the stringing is best done using a scratch stock or a beading plane. Cut your stringing to the appropriate width for your project, then file your beading cutter so it's the proper width for the stringing. You only need a groove about a 30 second of an inch deep to accept the stringing. A beading plane or scratch stock, even this shop built one, Make short work of cutting this groove. Your stringing should be tight in this groove, and you want it just a little bit proud of the surface so that you can clean it up quickly and easily. A scraper is your best bet for cleaning this up. With just a few basic tools and materials, you can highlight the focal areas of your projects and bring them to the next level.